guys, you welcome. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Bukobi BK Crack. So guys, we check out this video title. Why is it that Muslim marries more than one wife? And why do their wife accept it? Why is it so? This was a question thrown to a Muslim scholar, Zaki Naik. So let's watch. Non-Muslim, by qualification teacher. Thank you very much for a very interesting lecture. I have one question. I find it immoral and vulgar for a Muslim to have more than one wife. What do you think about this? Uh, actually, I know the roots of this, but I want to know your opinion about this. And I think if uh, our religions, Christianity and Islam unites, I think that Muslims should have one wife. <laughs> Sisters asked a very good question, very common question, very important question. <laughs> she asked that she thinks, according to her, it is immoral for a Muslim to have more than one wife. And she's requesting me that if Christians and Muslims unite on this point, it will be very good. That's what I want to do. Uh -huh. But we unite on what is the truth, not what is falsehood. Quran, sister, is the only religious scripture on the face of the earth, which says marry only one. There is no scripture on the face of the earth. You read the Bible, you read the Ramayana, you read the Mahabharata, you read the Veda. No scripture except the Quran says marry only one. If you read the Hindu scriptures, if you read the Hindu scriptures, Ramayana, the father of Sri Ram, King Dashrath, he had more than one wife. If you read Mahabharata, Sri Krishna, how many wives he had? Four, ten, thousand. He had 16,108 wives. If you read the Bible, if you read the Bible, Solomon had 700 wives. According to the Bible, Abraham had three wives. So according to the Bible, according to Judaism and Christianity, a man can have as many wives as he pleases. Four, five, ten, thousand, no upper limit. Islam has put an upper limit. Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number three, marry women of a choice in twos, threes or fours, but if you can't do justice, marry only one. Uh. So according to Hinduism, According to Christianity, you can marry as many wives as you wish. One, five, ten, twenty, thousand, ten thousand, no upper limit. Islam says, marry one of a choice in twos, threes or fours, but if you can't do justice, marry only one. So Islam says, you can marry more than one, only if you can do justice, otherwise you can't. And even if you can do justice, maximum four. Now let's analyze what Quran says. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse 129, it is difficult to be just between your wives, therefore do not turn away from them altogether. So many people have a misconception that in Islam, it is compulsory to have four wives. It's not compulsory to marry more than one wife, sister is optional, it's mubah. But if you marry more than one wife, and if you can't do justice, then you have a problem. Okay. Now let us understand what are the logical reasons, sister. I'll give the logical reasons, and then if you want, you can counter question. The logical reason why Islam gives permission for some people to have more than one wife. Now, by nature, if you analyze, male and female are born in equal proportion. But you ask any pediatrician, any medical doctor of the children, he will tell you that the female child can fight the germs and the diseases much better than the male child. So there are more male children dying as compared to female children. As life goes on, there is death due to cigarette smoking, death due to various other diseases, death due to alcoholism, death due to war, death due to accidents. There are more males dying as compared to female. Today in the world system, if you analyze, there are more females in the world as compared to males. There are more women as compared to men. Except in a few third world countries like India, where I come from, the female population is less than the male population. It is because of female feticide and female infanticide. If you stop this evil practice, of female feticide and female infanticide, even in India, the population of the female will outnumber the male population. Today, according to statistics, in New York alone, there are more than 1 million females more than males. In USA alone, there are 7.8 million females more than males. In Germany alone, there are 5 million females more than males. In UK alone, there are 4 million females more than males. In Russia alone, there are 9 million females more than males. And God alone knows how many millions of females are more than males throughout the world. Suppose, I agree with you hypothetically that one man should marry only one woman. And if my sister happens to live in America, and if the market is saturated, or if your sister happens to live in America, and if the market is saturated, every man has found a woman for himself. Yet there will be 7.8 million females who will not find life partners. The only option remaining for these 
7.8 million females is that they either marry a man who already has a wife or become public property. People will say, public property? Zakir, such a harsh word. It is the most sophisticated word I can use. I can't use a better word than that. You either marry a man who already has a wife or become public property. There's no third option. So now if you analyze in USA, according to American statistics, a common American on average has eight different sexual partners before he settles down with one. That means some may have two, some may have 10, some may have 20. Eight different sexual partners before he settles down with one. And you can have as many mistresses as you want. One, 10, 20, no problem. But legal wife more than one, it doesn't go down the throat. And you ask any modest woman, if a woman becomes the second legal wife of a man, she gets respect, she gets honor, she gets her rights. If you become a mistress, there's no honor, there are no rights, she's degraded. So Islam has the solution to the problems of humankind. Today, there are more women in the world than the men. According to me, Islam has permitted some men to have more than one wife so that the woman can live modestly. Otherwise, it's not possible. I do agree with you, sister. I do agree with you, sister, that a woman would not like to share a husband. I agree with you that a woman would not like to share a husband, but no woman under normal circumstances would like a husband to marry one more woman. But the Islamic Sharia says, let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss. A good Muslim, a good Muslim woman who knows the world scenario, she would not mind taking a small loss that is sharing a husband to prevent a big loss that is making a sister becoming a public property. Yes, sister. You have any? I said immoral because if a woman has more than one man, she is a bad woman. But if a man has more than one woman, he is okay. it's okay. Yeah. That's a very good question. Sisters ask the question that if a man has more than one woman, he's a good man. No. If a man has more than one wife, no problem. But if he has more than one woman, even he's a bad man. Like in America, one man has got four mistresses, five mistresses, ten mistresses, even in India, he's a bad man. But if he has a legal wife, if he does nikah, if he marries her, gives her due rights, gives her mayor, equal time, equal justice, then he's a good man. But now the counter question, why can't a woman have more than one husband, correct? Is that your question? Uh, Is your question that why can't no, a woman I, have more I than one? I'm thinking that in case if female population increases and male population decreases, so female can have two or three husbands. That's a very good question. You have the hypothetical question. But Almighty God, who's our creator, he knows better than you and me. He's our creator. And the reason, because God has made the woman a stronger sex. She is medically more stronger than the man. You know that? I'm a medical doctor, sister. Medically, a woman can live for longer years than a man. We think the man is strong. Physically, man is strong. But medically, the woman is stronger. She lives longer, her longevity. The average span of a woman is few years more than a man. There are less deaths in the pediatric age group. And regarding your main question, that Islam allows polygyny, a man to have more than one wife, but does not allow polyandry, that is a woman to have more than one husband. Why? The reason is that if a man has more than one wife, and if a child is born, you can easily identify who is the father and who is the mother. But if a woman has more than one husband, and if the child is born, you can identify the mother, but you can't identify the father. So if you go to admit your child in the school, what is the name of the father? You may have to give two names. <laughs> now we know that medical science is advanced by DNA, genetic coding. We can come to know who the father is, but that is now, not in the past. Islam is there since time immemorial. And this is not the only reason. Furthermore, there are various other reasons. Man is biologically more sexual as compared to the woman. Thirdly, a man can do the role of a multiple husband as compared to women doing a role of multiple wives. Because she undergoes menstrual cycle, there are various psychological changes, which it will be difficult for her to do the role of multiple wives. And furthermore, today science tells us that if a man has more than one sexual partner, and if they're loyal to them, like if a man has more than one wife, more than one sexual partner, and if all of them are faithful to each other, the man does not 
neither the woman develop any sexual transmit disease but if a woman has more than one sexual partner if she has more than one husband then the sexually transmitted disease will emerge she will have that disease and she'll retransmit it back to the husband so even medically it is not good for a woman to have more than one sexual partner hope that answers the question so that's a simple so i love the fact that i made mention of it that if you are capable of taking care of the women then you are allowed to marry more than one wife but it's not compulsory in islam he made mention of it people that do it in islam is because of maybe based on the quran those people that married you know you know, because I even heard that Prophet Muhammad married a very young girl at a young age, married a girl at, a, I think she was nine years old when he married, got married to one of his wife, a girl. So that is the reason why, you know, I think that's why some Muslims love to follow that kind of steps. You get the full steps. So he said it's not really compulsory, but if you can provide for them, if you are not you are not capable of taking care of them don't marry more than one wife marry just one person is not compulsory and it, there was a question they asked that he didn't answer they said will the woman accept but in my opinion i believe the woman doesn't have a choice than to accept a man that has made his mind has made his decision and he believes well whether you say yes or no i'm going to marry another woman and any there's nothing you can do so you can well talk to your husband depending on kind of relationship you have with your husband it depends on how you guys flow together in the in the home in the house talk to him some of them might agree and say oh i'll stick to only you for life why some might say no i need someone else and the reason why men can easily marry more than one wife the man has explained it you know when you marry more than one wife you, all the children will bear the man's son name or through if you can provide for her the women financially you are capable of providing for them financially you know romantically every aspect you are capable physically you are capable you give your attention to all of them equally then you can do it but if you cannot do it equally then there's no need i don't think there's a need and there's no way you can give person equal rights there's no way you will not love one person past the other or you will not treat one person more than the other. It's normal. Even children, when you give birth to children, some parents tend to give more love to a child past the other, based on maybe their experiences while giving birth to their child, or maybe because of you know the nature of the child, how intelligent he is, or the way the child behaves to them. You get it. They might just have special likeness for one child compared to other children. So this is why women cannot marry different husbands because your children cannot bear your name as a woman. So it will be a disgrace in the society. People will be like, ah, ah what's your father's name? This one say my father's name is David, son name. And now one of your child say, hey, my father's son name is jo uh, Joshua. And I, no, it's a disgrace when they are going to school. People will say, ah, ah, how come you guys are siblings and you are bearing different son name? That's the reason why it's not allowed. Some people can do it, but it doesn't make sense. But men have the opportunity to do so because no matter the number of the, uh, number of women they marry, all their children will bear their son name. Yes, it's, the, the respect is, is still going to be there. But me, I just always have this mindset that it's between the couple. It's between the couple. It's not all about religious belief or whatever. Yes, your religion might accept it or so. To me, too, I believe the man should discuss it with the woman. If you don't discuss it with your woman before going to marry another wife, that means the respect is not really there. That means you just married her for marriage's sake. But I didn't talk on that. But that was a beautiful one. Let me know your point of view. I'll see you in the next one.